Hey, Yetifigit here for some more Dual Hearts in the last part. We defeated Deimos at Hannah's Dream, THANK GOD! And in this part, we're going to be uh, heading to the Temple of Dreams to get the next holy instrument. Uh, but first, I'm going to go waste time walking to the beach. Spoilers for about 30 seconds later in this video. Yeah. I have no idea what I was thinking when I was actually, like, recording this. Why I decided to go to the beach. But, hey, whatever. Let's walk around Sono Island. Because it's fun. And we can see that Sarti is actually here on the beach. He doesn't really do anything, but he's here. You can talk to him. He's training, but really all he ever does is just stand there. Which is great training. Really, like, what the hell? He just stands there all day and he's like, I'm training. No, you're not training. You're standing on a beach. Training is involves actually doing shit. But, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Uh... There's really nothing back here. I don't know what I was hoping to accomplish by going here. I think I must have had something in mind. But, like hell if I know what that was. Anyway... Returning to the beach. Now I think we're actually going to head to the Temple of Dreams. Also, I should let you guys know before we do. You're going to need at least 20 pieces of dream energy to get any farther into the Temple of Dreams. Like, remember how we needed 10 pieces of dream energy to proceed uh, to the next door? I think it was at, after beating Lillian's dream, or... It might have been Santa's, actually. Yeah, I think it was Santa's. Like, once we got up to the key, using the key from Santa's dream, we needed 10 dream energy to proceed. Yeah, once once you get up to the point with the key from Hannah's dream, you need 20 pieces of dream energy to move on to the next part of the temple and access the door that key opens. Now, fortunately, I already have over 20 pieces of dream energy. So we can just move right on to the temple, which is over there. But if I didn't have 20 pieces of dream energy, we'd need to do other things. But anyway, once you get to the Temple of Dreams, you're going to notice something a little different this time, and that is that you are going to run into Chiffon.
I will say this right now because we're starting to get our first, like, major hints as to why this is, as Yuri comes and talks about something that's actually kind of relevant, but I'm not going to pay any attention to him, but... I will say this right now. Val is easily my favorite character in this game. And trust me, I will be talking all about why when we get... when the time comes for me to talk about that. But that time is not for... Oh, still for still not for a little while. It's not that far off because we're actually close. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. There really isn't that much more left. But I won't be able to talk about it yet. And anyway, Rumble is all worried about the Dreamstone, but Yuri is focused on what actually matters in that passage, what should be catching Rumble's attention, which is Black Calamity and Forbidden Seal. And I decide to run into Yuri for a little bit here for some unexplainable reason. I don't know what I was thinking. I recorded this a couple of months ago, actually, so yeah. I have no idea what I was thinking. Actually, how long ago was it that I recorded this? It must have been even longer than a couple. Yeah, it's been more than two months since I recorded this, because it was before June. It's like April or May, and it's September now getting to be pretty late in September, actually. Like, late mid-September. Also, yeah, don't worry about that 100 Dream Energy thing, that's just a, uh, optional thing. You don't need to collect the 100 pieces. The 20 is the most you'll ever need. Uh, I don't know... I don't actually remember what's behind there. I get the feeling it might be the, uh, third draw card, because I know there is a third one but I'm not entirely sure. And again, there being a third draw card makes absolutely no sense. At least this one's in the Temple of Dreams, though, if that is the third draw card. Unlike the second one, which you just get from Sarti. Anyway, you're going to want to go over... We have the green key now, so we go over to the green door. And we open it. And... Into the Green Hall of Trial we go. This Hall of Trial is all about block puzzles. And dodging spike balls, that too. But mainly block puzzles. You're going to be... Grabbing blocks and stacking them on top of more blocks in order to climb ledges. All the while having to avoid spike balls. And here I got that block a little bit far from the wall there, but it was close enough that I made it, so whatever. Now here I think I... I actually screw this up the first time. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm gonna screw this up. Because I'm gonna throw this block on top of that, and now I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna show you what it is you actually have to do. which is you want to not throw them throw the block up here down the ledge you want to put it at the edge and then bring this block up here and put it on top of the other block you actually want it to land on top of the other block though you don't want to miss like I did and then uh, I'm still a little bit far so I'm going to throw the blocks a bit closer. Like so. And then I'm going to jump on Tumble for some reason. Because, I don't know, I thought that would be a good idea. Something I should mention, you can actually lift up a stack of blocks if you want. Like, if you have one block on top of the other, you can lift them both up at the same time, which you a you're actually going to need to do in this room. Which, just like any of the other Hall of Trials in the game, uh, there are three rooms. 
in this whole trial. Now you want to get this block on top of this block. I think. Or not. Uh, you want to not get knocked off by a spike ball. Like I just did. And now, uh, let's see if I actually remember. Oh, this is the part where you need to stack two blocks on top of each other. You want to go down here. You want to get this block, I believe. And now you can lift up the blocks. Now that you have the stack, you can actually get uh, one of the small blocks up on top of the big block, which will allow you to get it up to the second level. Like so. And of course, you want to not get hit by a spike ball along the way. That's always a good plan. You want to stack the blocks once again, and I'm actually going to screw this up here. And watch these amazing physics. Yeah, figure that one out. Uh, but anyway, in fact, I, I'm actually unable to throw the blocks like this or put them down, which kind of sucks. So what I end up having to do is, if I can show you in a sec, yeah, I actually have to, like, angle rumble and push the blocks to get rid of that second block to remake the stack in a way that I can actually throw it. Like that. Except now I've screwed myself over because I picked up the block. I don't want to do that. Fortunately, the block stays on due to the same amazing physics that let it stay on before, and I can get up and I can leave this Hall of Trial. Which will, of course, net us the green orb as we head back to the Hall of Treasure. Uh, we can get the green orb, which will transform into the holy instrument, Gen's Hammer, in right. Dream World. We'll be going into that when we get a chance to use it. But anyway, that's it for this part. See you guys hopefully next time on Let's Play Dual Hearts. Bye!